Hotel Indigo is an international brand hotel that has its name planted all over the world with the currently latest 154 hotel open in May 2024. Today, I am staying in Hotel Indigo Kuala Lumpur, one of the latest hotels under its chain which marked the 150th hotel worldwide. I'm going to give my personal review on this hotel and it starts in 14 seconds from now. The Hotel Indigo Kuala Lumpur was opened in December 2023 and is one of the latest hotels found in Kuala Lumpur. This place used to be a 13 stories office that demolished to the ground and construction of this hotel begins in 2019. It is a 5-star boutique hotel set beside the remaining virgin forest of Kuala Lumpur city, the Bukit Nanas Forest Reserve. Please stay until the end of the video as I will have some tips when you are about to stay in this hotel as well as my personal rating for this hotel. It's just 10 minutes walk to KL Tower and 20 minutes walk to the KLCC Twin Tower. In fact, it's just opposite the entrance of KL Tower. The nearest train station is the Raja Chulan Monorail Station which is only 10 minutes walk away. The hotel has 25 levels with 180 rooms from standard rooms to suites. Here is how the rough layout of the building looks like. From ground floor to level 4 are the car parks. Level 5 is the hotel lobby. Level 6 is the restaurant and cafe. Level 7 is the meeting room. Level 8 and 9 are the car parks. Level 10 is the hotel office. Level 11 all the way to level 23 are the hotel rooms. Level 24 is the restaurants and bar. Level 25 is the facilities level. If you are coming by car like me, parking is not free. It's wallet parking with the fee of 20 ringgit per 24 hours. Just drive to the front door of the hotel and pass your car key to the wallet jockey and get all your luggage down. He will have your car parked in the parking basement safely. Or else one may just walk in across the bridge that link to the lobby from the main road at level 5. The concept of the hotel is hotel on a park where it is mainly using a tropical forest design overall in the hotel. It is also using Malaysia's rich culture inspiration that offers guests an authentic and neighborhood-inspired stay. With greenery adorns every corner in the hotel, from the lobby staircase constructed with old railway sleepers. <laughs> reception desk crafted with rescue tree roots. Every detail depicts the commitment to reducing environment impact. The lobby is not big, as the hotel space is not big either. Seatings are located everywhere in the lobby. Interesting display can be found everywhere in the lobby, where there are many surprises to me as I started to wander around, like this sculpture tree with glass bottle for branches, where it is a beautiful display illustrating the recycle and repurposing of natural resources. The wooden carved pillars thatch that forms in a circular displays on the wall like we see here to these beautiful lampshades. The designer of this hotel really did a thoughtfully job here. Further into the lobby, there is a business session, secluded at a corner where one can really have privacy if needed. And of course, all are in wooden design. Besides that, there is this borrow by Hotel Indigo program where guests can borrow the 
the items listed here when needed to go out to visit the nearby KL Forest Eco Park. Something I never see in other hotels before. On the far end of the lobby is the restroom. And some beautiful display where one can take photos with. Check-in is fast and there is a welcome drink served upon processing my check-in. I just can't wait to see more of this interesting design as I move into my room. I am staying one night in a standard king room by redeeming the IHG points for free night stay. By the way, this hotel is under IHG group. If you want to know how many points I've used, you may check on the description below. As I move into the lift, more surprises with the design inside the lift where they use wooden pattern on the floor and a wood handle with steel fans at the side of the lift. It's very beautiful. My room is on 20th floor. Upon coming out from the lift, there is this abstract bright red art piece on the wall with columns of bulbs on the ceiling as display. At the side of the lift is the signage of the facilities of each floor. Inspired by Malaysian Kaki Lima or 5 foot way, the corridor along the guest room features a covered walkway often found in front of shops. These are decorated with shapes and forms of old village houses, eaves translated into bold and vibrant cut-out paper. This is my room. On each guest room door number is decorated with flower-rich Malay tiles with a lamp on it. Welcome into my room. This room is 32 square meters. Upon coming from the door on the left is the closet area and there is a very beautiful glass door on the right. Inside should be the toilet. I opt for a king size bed and this is the bed facing the TV mounted on the wall. Further in is the resting area and it's connected to the business table on the far right. The window is so wide that it occupies the whole end of the room. There is a beautiful cupboard beside the business area. There are these display items on the cupboard like what we see here. And as I open this beautiful green glass cupboard door, the minibar is inside. Snacks are not free and one can check the price by scanning the QR code here. The cups are very traditional coffee house type. There is an espresso coffee making machine and complimentary water comes in glass bottles. Inside the drawer, there is a wine opener, empty storage drawer and a kettle. Inside the fridge are some basic beverages. On the other side of the cupboard are more display items with a few wine glasses. There are various tea and coffee powder and capsule which comes in complimentary. Beside the business table, there are Type G plugs and USB port. IHG hotels practices paperless nowadays and therefore neither pen nor pencil provided. No notepad too. The bedside table is very finely designed with traditional rattan type and there is a power plug point and switches on top of the table. Unfortunately, the label of these switches are faded. Probably it's being pressed too many times. I have to figure out by pressing it one by one at times. Let's look at the closet area beside the entrance. There's a huge mirror where one can double check on themselves before going out. Extra pillows is available on the top compartment. Plenty of hangers with the bath ropes on the side. The wall is designed with printed old Chinese calendar 
another way to bring up Malaysian culture design over here. There is an iron and iron board on the other side here. Inside this beautiful green drawer is a safe and slipper. And the bottom drawer is laundry bag and hair dryer. From the time I come into this hotel, there are a lot of things that is very different from other hotels that I have stayed and I would say that this hotel can be a very weird, <laughs> very unique and at the same time it's very um, very different from the one that those that I've stayed before and for example I will show you one by one that uh, I find that it's interesting at the same time it is funny Tada! Hello! Yes, you think that I'm at the front door of a house or a hotel? No, this is actually the entrance of the bathroom. It's very nice, right? It's made of glass door and it's very traditional type. And look at the towels. These are the towels that you don't really find in other hotels. Other hotels maybe have marbles or what. These are a towels that's actually very nicely built on it and one thing that I find is weird is what are they going to have this I don't know what to call this this thing here the urine bowl <laughs> this is so traditional I don't know why they are putting it here I don't know whether you're going to spit on it or you're going to urine or you're going to pour on it I don't know what you're going to do with it but this is very weird but I find it's very funny <laughs> and another thing is the basin look at the basin this basin, I think if my mom see it, my parents see it, they find it's very familiar because this side of the basin, they normally take it, I know they will actually take the baby to, to, to the bath on it in the old days. Alright, let's look into the overall bathroom here. There is the toilet bowl at the side here. On the basin area, there is these beautiful green glass shelves at the side where guests can put their stuff on it. There is a metal mark and small towels provided beside the funny basin which I just mentioned. Hand washers and lotions with other shower amenities are all locked on the wall. There is no bathtub in my room but the shower area is separated on the other side here that comes in normal shower and rain shower hay. One have to wind down the blind when showering to avoid the neighbor building, people peep on the gas. Okay, uh, beside the toilet itself, one thing you should know when you come to this hotel, even the receptionist uh, will tell you upon check-in that uh, the hotel room does not have um, any toiletries. Meaning that there's no toothbrush, whatever thing that you, you need in the normal hotel. So what you need to do is, you need to go to the TV itself and you switch on the TV and there's a information session where you need to scan the QR code and from there you need to actually, from your phone itself, you need to request whatever you want. I think this is the way the hotel will actually save a lot of things without actually wasting it but at the same time it's very inconvenient for guests especially you know the older one or people that do not know how to play the phones uh, and then they will not have any toothbrush to brush on the next day you know so I will show you how to do it now all right now here it goes now uh, when you come into the room you got to switch on the TV by the remote control that you have you find it at the side of the bed and then Upon switching on, you will see this screen, the main main page, where your name is on there. Now all you need to do is take the remote control and scroll all the way to the E concierge, where there's a service there. And upon opening it, you will see a barcode. All you need to do is use your phone to scan this barcode, and there is the information that you needed to fill in in. The, uh, in, in, the, in the page where it appears on your phone. This is how it appears on the phone. You need to key in your room number and your surname and press access. Then there is this page 
where you can find all the needs you want about this hotel. Go to the guest request column and click on it. Inside, you will see all the items that you can request from the housekeeping. Note that some of the items are chargeable. In my case, I will select the amenities here. Inside the request detail box, just type in whatever you need and I just type in toothbrush here. Then press next and you can select when you need the housekeeping people to send the items to you. Here I select within 30 minutes and press submit. They are very punctual where my request items are sent to me within the time stated. I have requested a toothbrush, shaver kit and extra towels. It is a very well designed hotel as a 5 star boutique hotel. They are actually implying a lot of uh, traditional Malaysian heritage design into it. For example, this table, they have this chongkak and chongkak is a traditional Malay game which I used to know how to play but I really forgotten. It's like dropping one marble into each hole and at the end of the day, uh, the one that actually cannot grab any marbles, that will be loose. So I, 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 from my ex from my recall, it's something like that. I'm not sure. If you know how to play, please let me know on the comment section. Another thing that is um, very unique and funny is this kind of small pillows that find on the couch itself. Now, these pillows is not Chinese dumpling, okay? Uh, if you are young, if you are young enough like me, okay? <laughs> I mean, those older girls' school, they will have these kind of games that used to play by the girls. Uh, during all this, it's called five stones. Uh, during my age, so it's uh it's not that big actually. It's a very small, uh, tiny, uh where where they have these uh beans, red red beans or green beans, and they will actually put inside a piece of cloth and they will stitch it until in a shape like this, and it comes with five pieces. And how you gonna play? You just throw it in the air and then use one hand to grab as many as possible. And if you, if you manage to grab the whole entire five pieces, then you win. And if you drop one, then you will lose. Now, this is very unique. This is very traditional. And, and then, um, I mean, these are things you won't be able to find it nowadays. Well, nowadays, the kids will only play, know how to play mobile phone or handphones. So these are things that like, keep me recall back all the old younger days here. The only negative side of the room is it's facing the roof of an old building beside which is an eyesore. Most of the time, I just have to wind down the blind as the view looks really haunting. Let's look at the facilities in the hotel. All facilities are located at the top floor, which is at level 25. As soon as I come out from the lift, there's this beautiful glass window in front which overlooking the KL City skyline. There is this bench which covers the carpet that looks like moss, which is incorporate their concept of hotel on the park. On the right side is the gym which operates 24 hours. One only can access using room card key. It's not a big gym but well equipped. It will be nice if there is not many people working out here. In fact, the time I visited was no one around except me myself. Towels and waters are available inside here too. One can look at the swimming pool which is located just beside this gym. Let's go out and take a look. Same as the gym, only one with the room card key can access to this outdoor swimming pool. It's not big, but the greenery surrounding this swimming pool, it looks very tropical and nice. It's not exactly a rectangular shape kind of swimming pool and it's infinity with glass at the side for safety reason. At least it's not fully blocked by other high rise building and one can see further in the view while swimming at this pool.
At the far end, there is a huge hotel named Signage where one will not miss while on this rooftop. There are towels provided and are stored in a very nice traditional design cover as we see here. It's self-service. The swimming pool only has 7 sun lounges and a basket hanging chair which is pretty nice for photographing. But if one comes during peak season or public holiday, I think there is not really enough space for guests to lay back here. There is no pool bar around here too. Inside the corridor, there is a shower area and a locker place. It's a small restroom that may only fit one person used at one time. Inside is the toilet, a basin, and a shower area with showering amenities provided. Next, I move to the restaurant or dining area in the hotel. There are two dining places in this hotel. One is called the Silver Monkey serving high-end culinary and high-class steak. Located at level 24, just a floor below facilities level, one can get a beautiful view of the city here. The name Silver Monkey is inspired by the silver leaf monkey that roam around Bukit Nana's Forest Reserve, located just beside the hotel. The color palette they have used in this restaurant is very eye soothing. With green, turquoise, and dark brown with the back of the pastel beige, it's just so beautiful. There is a happy hour from 5 pm till 7 pm daily where one can enjoy drinks or choose the wine from the many selections as you see here. Guests can even book a private room in the monkey parlor. Flora and fauna photos are placed on the wall to showcase the rich nature they have around at the reserve area. If one doesn't mind the heat, there is an outdoor seating session on the far end where one can chill out looking at the city view. Stick lovers can choose their favorite part as display here. The second dining place is called Walk Station, an all-day dining restaurant where I'm having my breakfast here on the next morning. Located just above the lobby, one can choose to come out from the staircase or use the lift. I want to show the display here where they have it on the lift area which I found very creative. They use spoons and wooden sticks to form an art piece of flowers and leaves. On the wall of the leaf, they incorporate some traditional metal grill door, which I find very nice and interesting. Let's look at the food they have for breakfast. It's served in buffet style. To be honest, this is the worst 5-star boutique hotel breakfast I ever have as the selection is very limited. The main session is the noodle making station where I don't use to take when I'm having my breakfast in the hotel. The western session is mixed with Asian session where there are just basic choices here. No bacon, no hash brown, no nasi lemak, no roti canai, no fried mee, and many no's. Fruits are not fresh as you see and the melon is not even ripe. The dessert is okay but who will want sweeties as starters for breakfast? Bread and pastries are okay with lots of jam choices to choose from. Seatings are nicely arranged but the space is not big. So one may have to queue if there are many people here.
This is the timetable display at the reception on the ground floor, where the hotel have encouraged guests to go for breakfast. Um, overall, the hotel is very nice in terms of the abiding on the concept they have in the hotel. So um, the color palette is beautiful. I love the brown, uh, the beige, and with the green color uh, that neutralizes the whole entire thing, which doesn't look very harsh and actually suits the eyes of the guests when it comes in. It's very comfortable coming into the hotel and it's very clean as well. And uh, they also, also um, they imply a lot of uh, those Malay traditional pattern like here, even the mark here. And they even have it on the air conditions part, they have the Malay plaster pattern on it. And I also like the wooden flooring which is clean. Um, what I don't like is um, the request for the amenities on the room itself because we have to actually request the thing and it's not provided in the room so this is something which I don't like and the thing that I don't really like the most is the parking it's wallet parking, it's 20 ringgit per 24 hours so if you're driving here um, most probably you need to actually get everything out before you come to check in into the hotel because if you forget to take something from your car or you want to get something from your car or you want to leave something into your car you have to every time you have to go to the wallet and ask your key to drive your car up again to you know to collect whatever things you need to get into the car so this is something very inconvenient and very hassle to the gas itself so this is something i don't like so if you are driving make sure uh, you think about it whether you want to drive here or not so uh, about the rating, everything it seems okay, but just a little bit not okay as I say here. So this is my rating here and hope you enjoy my video and I hope that you uh, subscribe my channel if you like more of my videos so that I can post off all the videos that I think is good to be viewed. Um, yeah, till then I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye!